Swear it's been 700 degrees in here since you came in I could swear that this room has been running out of air And now it's starting to spin You make me feel kind of bad, kind of good And today I'm going to be showing you the hermit crab shells and what shells you should have for your hermit crabs. So I just washed these hermit crab shells um, and I do that every month just to get, especially if they were in the tank. So let's get started with the good kinds of shells you want for your purple painter hermit crabs. So you want to have like either turbo shells or some kind of like these con shells that have a circle circular opening and don't get painted shells because they are toxic to her this is a natural shell it looks very weird but it's a natural shell i got these shells from amazon for ten dollars for 20 shells so i would definitely recommend getting them on amazon so that is definitely a shell opening that you would want to have and now let's go into different kinds of good crab shells. So I do have this kind, these kinds of shells. This one's small, but you can have bigger ones of these. But so technically, they have a D-shaped hole, and these are specifically for Ecuadorian crabs. So I do have two hermit crabs, Peachy and Rosie, that I did pick up D-shaped shells, probably just because I like them. They're always a bit bigger. So now I'm gonna get into the shells that are definitely not good for hermit crabs. They're probably good for marine hermit crabs, but I don't know anything about marine hermit crabs, so it's not a channel for marine hermit crabs. But, so this is one of those shells that look like Ecuadorian shells. They gave up the same impression, but however, they do have a big body and circular, smaller, like, shell tail. So, they do have a D shape, which gives you the impression that it is an Ecuadorian shell, but it is not because this part is really big, whereas this part is more equivalent to the opening. So this shell, um, it also kind of gives the impression that it is an Ecuadorian shell. However, this is more of like a slit opening and um, the hermit crab's bodies are more round like that to fit through the hole. Like if they were to go through this and it was just about the right size, then their body would be kind of crushed by this area. And then now this shell would obviously not work because it's just a part of the shell. I just wanted to show you guys. This shell is really pretty but it is obviously not for a hermit crab because it has a really really noticeable slit opening and no hermit crab would be long in the front of the body to be long enough to fit through that slit and then there so like on this shell it kind of curves back to this bottom base of the shell here so that is what their um abdomen kind of shaped like whereas this shell is just a straight kind of going horizontally so thank you so much for watching i will be posting links in the description for where you can buy hermit crab shells um a bunch of these shells were obviously not suitable for hermit crabs um so technically ecuadorian dorian Ecuadorian hermit crabs and purple pincher hermit crabs are some of the most common ones some of the uncommon ones are viola and viola and caribbean ones so those ones are the rare ones but most most hermit crabs that you would own would live inside these shells these shells are mostly only for ecuadorian hermit crabs so uh, thank you for watching i will be posting links in the description please subscribe comment down below and go to my second channel autumn plays also linked in the description below thank you so much for watching it and i hope to see you next time Bye.